Hey, the fall fireworks have started. The autumn leaves are putting on a colorful show. Have you ever wondered why are they doing this? Uh, I, it's almost early, I think. Doesn't it feel early? It feels early. You know, we're still yeah. like September. the end of September. But it, I think it has to do with a little bit of the dryness in the air. Yeah. But is it the cooler nights, which we, I don't feel we had yet? Shorter days? It's the shorter days. Yeah, it's, it's all about the light transmission. And I've noticed, like, a lot of times, like, now getting up in the morning, it's like, oh my gosh, it's dark. I'm going yeah. back to bed. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but we're yeah. run by the clock. And at night, it's like, wow, it's like, you know, lights are on and, like and it's like, yeah. Like, you know, as business owners, we got to put the parking lot lights, lights on are early. On now. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. What energy. <laughs> yeah. But that's what, call, you know, we talked about in an earlier segment about how that's what calls everything into being. So, when a leaf falls from a plane, bear with me. This is this is a radio, and then, uh, on YouTube you can see me trying to do my best imitation of a leaf falling. Um, that uh, so, if you have a tree, and all of a sudden, like a leaf falls and floats to the ground, what what happened to make that fall? And it's actually the chlorophyll production has stopped. And right where the stem of the leaf connects to the plant, it actually, the cells begin to, to die and that tree seals the cut so that the leaf just drops off. And, and where it was connected, there's a little bit of a leaf scar. So you can see where, where it was connected. If you look at some of, if your tree is, uh, you know, short enough for you to see. And it's just, it's science. It's nature. It, it, it's it's an amazing thing. Chlorophyll production, when it slows down, and that's when, you know, when it slows, you can see it by the pigments beginning to change. During the spring and summer, there's plenty of chlorophyll, so there's plenty of sunlight to, to make chlorophyll. And see, when, and that's what's going on, is that, like, there's not enough light to produce the chlorophyll that's required by that particular variety of tree. And you'll see, like some some trees are dropping their leaves now, and you can yeah. see. And there's some some types that are, um, you know, perfectly green. They look like it's it, it's summertime. But uh, when the the light begins to change, and the colors begin to change in the trees, and that we know that there are certain types of trees that are going to be like sugar maples are are you know beautiful, wide ranging from from yellow to orange to red, and that they're are a lot of trees that have different uh, colors. There, there's a lot of trees that are just like that bright, brilliant orange, lemony, I'm sorry, lemony uh, yellow. And now, so the three pigments of leaves, so chlorophyll obviously is green, okay? And it uses the sunlight to produce food. Now, there is carotenoid, which is carotenoid, carotenoid, yellow, orange, brown, um, and it, uh, and that when you see a tree that's that's orange, you can you know that it's that pigment is taking over. Now it's also in fruits like carrots, bananas, corn, and that they're colored by carotenoid. Anthocyanin. Anthocyanin. I was so proud of myself when I when I learned that. that one several years ago. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, it's anthocyanin. Anthocyanin is the red color, and that's not only in trees, but also in cranberries and red apples and cherries and strawberries and more. So if we have low temperatures in the fall early, it'll favor a lot more red in maples. Um, if there's an early frost, it it low temperatures opposed to frost. So if there's a frost, it weakens that red color. If it's rainy or overcast days, increase the intensity of all the fall colors. And gosh, it is dry, so I don't think it's going to be that intense. And you can right. even see a lot of the the first changing leaves are going to be yellows, yellows. and they're like uh, they're like a mu it's not muddy yellows. First yeah. thing I think of, but it's like a I don't know. It's like just a I don't know what do you call it? beige almost it's not not a bright not a vibrant yeah. no no not vibrant at all no. not vibrant at all um and that gotta remember this too there what about broadleaf trees 
that are here in the, in the, the northern region, they shed their leaves in the fall. Um, usually just goes right to, to brown and just drops off almost like a conifer and a pine where the, the needles will drop off too. Um, oak tree. I've got pin oaks. Yeah. Uh, I love them because they look so, so great. I've had an issue with one where I had to cut it down because it had a disease issue in it. And, but the thing that drove me nuts is like you, you get all the leaves up in the fall and then there would be this certain amount, like maybe a third or a quarter of the leaves still left on the trees that wouldn't come down until the spring. And then it would be like, a, redo. didn't I do this already? <laughs> but that's one thing about, uh, about pin oaks and, and, other, and other types of oaks where there are other types of trees that do that too. But uh, it's just, they have such a, they have a, just a great um, form and they're just a, they're just a great tree. Now, again, shrubs like azaleas, they will drop their leaves too. It's all about the amount of sunlight they get. For instance, as a rhododendron or an azalea or another type of broadleaf evergreen grows in your landscape bed, that as it grows, the sunlight that is not getting to the leaves underneath the new growth, that's going to drop off because it's useless to the plant. You know, it just basically is a burden to the plant, so it falls off. So don't be surprised or worried if all of a sudden you see your azaleas have dropped a lot of leaves and they look a little bit on the far side. Same thing with arborvitaes. Arborvitaes are going to uh, shed out a little bit of their of their old growth. Evergreens shed, okay, <laughs> but they keep their outer branches and their evergreen. Deciduous trees and plants drop everything. So, you know, if your evergreens get a little bare and they shed a little bit, it is not a concern. There are some types of, of needled evergreen, like pines, where they don't shed their leaf, their needles every year. It's like every two years. So some years you'll notice where it's like, how come it's doing it this year? Yeah. And it's, it's just the what they do in certain, in certain ways. Enjoy the fall colors. Enjoy, don't don't think that, oh, it's gonna go right into winter. Now, enjoy the autumn. Start enjoying the winter too, because it's the next time for uh, just before spring. It also gives us a lot of opportunities that, that we don't get during the regular time of the year. Um, there's a lot of views that are different. And one thing that I always love, that when we get to December 22nd, Every day, we get a little bit more sunshine. Every day, there's a little more sunshine until we get to uh, June, and then it starts all over again. So right now, we we're, we're, we just uh, got to our fall uh, season. So it's, it's going to get a little dark and keep doing that, but it's not long before we, we get into Christmas. Look at, you, look at your local stores. <laughs> Christmas stuff is out already. I know. I know. Aaron, did you tell me that? Somebody was telling me that they saw stuff at Target already. Oh, no, it wasn't me. I don't shop at Tar- Target. You don't shop at Target? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, but to your point, yes, they definitely got started last month. Oh, my gosh. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess. We're yeah. talking August. They got started yeah. in August. That's uh, crazy. No, yeah. no. Well, everybody, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>